I want to take a minute to just send you this quick video right into the middle of your workday to remind you that your work matters and how you do your work matters. And I want to share the story with you about Brother Lawrence, who was a cook in a monastery. And there was a book that was uh, assembled about his life called The Practice of the Presence of God. It's one of my favorite books of all time. I encourage you to check it out. In the book, he talks about cooking omelets, washing the floors, doing the dishes, and just serving the other monks. Uh, but rather than seeing it as a, as a menial duty, he saw it as a joy and was overflowing in gratitude and saw every part of it as worship unto his God. It even talks about him washing dishes and then ending up on the floor just worshiping Jesus. And I think that he understood Colossians 3.23, which says, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord and not for human masters. There's this beautiful reality in the kingdom and uh, for us as followers of Jesus that there's really nothing big or small in our lives. They're simply serving the Lord with gladness. It talks about that in Psalm 100 verse 2. Sing joyful songs to the Lord and serve him with gladness. I like to say it this way, the worth of our work is not increased or diminished in being greatly noticed or not noticed at all. The worth is in how and for whom we work. So you might be working in obscurity or you might be working uh, for the world to see. Either way, it comes down to your heart and your motive and as you do it as worship unto God. The other day I was looking at my to-do list and it was just seeming like 10 pages long. And I was kind of discouraged about uh, the tasks at hand. And right in the middle of it, I wrote, uh, all of this has profound meaning and matters incredibly. And it was just a good reminder for me uh, that going through my to-do list even, the menial tasks of the day, were worship to God. So I encourage you to do the same. Have a wonderful day.